Welcome back to my channel. I know we're in the loading screen, but I want to try to pick this up. Um, sometimes when you first enter in, you get some messages. Tonight, we're going to look at the mixing station. What is the mixing station? Well, it's a very easy way for you to make uh, total mixed rations for your cows without having to do any baling and actually any tedding. It makes it very easy. So let's go ahead and start. Here you go. See that message up at the top there where it says mixing silage? The silo, the silage silo is empty. Well, let's walk over there and take a look. All right, so if you have a map that's a mod map, a lot of these maps have the mixing station. And here we, in our Westbridge Forest Farm, here we have the mixing station. Sorry, it's a crappy dark day, but that's how it happens to be on this farm. So you can see here we have these loading bins. The loading bins call for silage. And it's pre-made. You've got to make the silage first, but then you just dump it in here. Grass. Now, unlike the hay bales where you have to actually ted, you mow it, you ted it, you windrow it, and then you collect it, all you have to do is mow it and collect it. This is really nice because it eliminates a lot of steps. You can see here it's empty. And then you, over here we have straw. So the re, how you get this, and I'll show you a little bit of it, but when, you're, when you set your harvester to harvest, you enable the straw swath and it leaves straw behind it and then you just go with a collection wagon and pick it up and then dump it in here now this farm has a nice storage facility back over there where it keeps all this stuff separated so you can store tons of it and i just keep using it to fill up but today we're going to actually manually fill this up so uh when it runs out you'll get a message like we saw earlier saying it's out of, it said it was out of silage which it's out of both silage and grass uh, these indicators that are in red here on the side, you can see there that indicator going up that shows that this is empty. When it's full, it'll be up at the top. Same with this, and same with this. You can see this one's about halfway full, a little bit over half. So Now if we walk over to our control station here, you can see right now I have no mixed rations. I've, I've emptied it out. I actually store it, but you can also feed that to your cows. You're going to run a trailer up underneath here. You have to have the multi-fruit mod in order for this to work. So you're going to need the multi-fruit mod and a wagon that supports multi-fruit. Um, and then you can pull that underneath here and it'll dump into that wagon. But that is one mod that you have to have is multi-fruit. Otherwise, you'll pull under here and nothing will come out. And right now, there's nothing to come out because there's no mixed rations in there. Just straw. So let's go ahead and grab our tractor. And we're going to do a little, a little work here. All right, so we're going to pick up this. The first thing we're going to start with is the straw. I've harvested my fields, and you're going to see over here on the field, you can see off there in the distance, it's all striated. That's because a fancy word for... <laughs> oh, I'm going to crash. Or not. You can play on my iPad. I'll let you play. Don't get all fussy. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to be driving along here. Picking all this stuff up, and we'll fill the wagon up all the way. So I'll pick you up in a minute. I'm going to just keep doing this, and I'm going to fill this up all the way. And I'll be right back. All right, and I just filled up all the way, and so now I'm going to pull this back. And so you can see here we have about 38,000 straw. Oh, wait, but I didn't need straw. But anyway, I'm just showing you. We're going to fill it up all the way anyway just because I can. So there's our straw. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. No bailing, no storing, no moving stuff around. No, I just drove the wrong way. <laughs> no uh, having to use a mixer to, to get it out. All you got to do is... I don't know if there's eggs or not. Pee, Pee in her eggs. She, she loves the eggs. What's up, Mater Man? I love you, Mater. You my little buddy? All right, so we're going to back into the straw uh, bin here. And it'll tell us to give us a little dump signal when we can. I, I'm going to pull all the way up. You could actually dump pretty much any time that thing appears. You see there, it's going to suck that up. And you can see the gauge right over there. See the gauge in the back there filling up. So we're going to fill that up with straw. And now I have to get rid of the rest of this. So I found that every farm that has the mixing station... Can you close that door, Pete? Um, 
also has these storage facilities. Now, they might be, look different. Some of them are just open bins where you dump stuff, but they this is where you put any excess that once you filled it up, you can put excess here and store it and come get it later. Can you guys close that door, please? I really don't want everybody in here making a ton of noise. I'd appreciate that. So she can come in, that's fine, but I want quiet. If you guys make noise, I'm kicking you out. Got it? Good. I don't know, whatever. Okay, so here we have the silage bins. Now, normally I would have to get a front loader and dump silage into either this trailer or any trailer that supports silage, but I don't have any silage ready. So uh, what I do usually is I, you know, you shovel it in there and you go dump it in. Today we're going to have to use pre-made silage. So over here on this part, I actually have a bunch of silage stored. So hold on a sec. All right, so I'm pulling up. Sorry. Here is, this. As you can see there's a silage on the door. This is my silage storage pen. So I've, I've already made all the silage. If you don't know how to make silage, please watch my silage tutorial, or you can also see the how to feed your cows tutorial. Both of those tutorials go over the making of silage, but here is my silage. It's pre-made, ready mix. And we're full. And I'll probably have to bring some of this back, but maybe not, I don't know. I don't remember how much that thing holds. It might hold 50,000. So silage is probably the most labor intensive of the things that you have to put in here. Now, you're gonna have to do it anyway though. So even if you were baling, you still have to make silage. So unless you're using the round bales and the bale wrapper, uh, you're going to have to make silage this way and use it this way. So here we have silage going in, pulling up to the silage bin, and dumping it in. Here we go. And you can see, once again, it's filling up. And I actually think this probably will not be enough. But it might be. Now it's letting me know that the hay silo is empty, <laughs> which is actually grass. Once again, you don't have to put hay in. You can just put fresh mowed grass. Yes, he didn't fill it up all the way. So now we need to get some grass. I'm going to show you the cheater way to do it, but really the... You could just get a mower for the front of this tractor and then have the, this on the back and mow and collect as you go. That's the fastest way to do it. If you want to collect a lot of grass real fast, well, there's a mod for that. <laughs> and I feel like this is totally, absolutely cheating because this is not real. It is and it isn't. In my garage, we have this giant Big M. And this is a real device. Uh, the Crone Big M is a real mower. It actually does exactly, it wind rows while it mows. It's pretty cool. However, it does not have the capacity to hook a trailer onto the back to collect. <laughs> but this mod does. Now it is a little bit over half a million dollars. So it's gonna cost you, but boy, does it make life easy. <laughs> so if you're a purist and you're into running things that only exist, well, this, because of that attachment that allows you to pull this along with you, that's a myth, it's a mythical beast. However, uh, the actual tractor is real, and it does windrow the grass and that, so that a tractor can follow behind it and collect it. But like I said, you could do, you do just a regular old mower on the front of the tractor and then pull this behind the tractor and collect, and that's all you need to do, and then we just dump this in. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Unfortunately, this thing is not super fast, so it's going to take me a while to get down to the end of the field to start. But This thing makes it really nice because it's really fast. The reason why I bought it is because of its speed in mowing. Uh, it allows you to collect a lot of grass real quick. And if you have a lot of cows, you're going to need a lot of grass. So, press the wrong button. I shouldn't be allowed to turn the mower on until I unfold it. Cheaper's criminy. <laughs> the wagon is making the hole. You need to get all wiggly. Oh, starting earlier than I wanted to. I'm not going to be able to pick that up on the... Oh, I did. Look at that. Look at how huge this mower is, though. <laughs> but even so, it's a little bit of a slow collection, you know. This could take all night. All right, so I will be back. All right, this bad boy's filling up pretty quick here. Um, yeah, as you can see, I had to mow a lot, though. I had to mow almost 
half this field to fill the, the trailer up, plus that long swath I did along the front of the farm. And it's full, so we gotta cut the mower off now. Raise up the arms and pull ourselves back to the farm. And So now we have this huge load of grass, and this is the last thing we're gonna need to put in before we start mixing. Once again, <laughs> no tedding, no windrowing. All you got to do is mow, and that saves you a lot of time. There's a, you know, if you got to do a big field, and you got to go back and forth and back and forth with the tedder, and then back and forth and back and forth with the windrower after mowing it, it just it's this makes it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and dump this off. Put this guy away. We'll park him here for now. No big deal. It's just a video. We'll grab our JCB. Pick up our grass. Now, one of the things that's a little bit different than using the little machine to make your silage is that the mixing station takes a long time. It might take you almost 24 hours to mix an entire batch up. So if I have all three silos full, it's going to take near... Like, I think it's like 16 or 17 hours to get the whole thing mixed. So right now it's not going to do anything because there's no grass. But as soon as I do this, watch the lights change color. Because now I'm adding grass and all of a sudden this has what it needs to make and it's making. Let's go ahead and get the grass all the way in and then we'll speed up time and we'll watch the numbers. So you can see here the grass is filling up. Right there in the back. It's not going to fill up all the way, but we'll have some grass in there. With the multi-fruit, this Bergman can hold pretty much all of the stuff, including the total mixed ration. So we're going to hop out here and go over and take a look at our meter. Looks like F1. And we're going to speed up time. As you can see, it's been... So we started about 10.15. And it's not going to make 100%. It's going to, well, maybe it will. I don't think it will, though. It'll probably make 38,000 units because that's what we gave it. Maybe. But it, may, it might make more. So uh, we'll be back when it's done. I'm, I'm going to pause the video for now, and we'll catch up in a sec. Now, one of the ways you can tell if this is working is you can pull around to the back, and you can see here all the mixing going on. <laughs> in case you get curious and you want to see what's going on, you can see it's already... We started at 10 o'clock in the morning. It is now f almost 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And we're still mixing. And we're only at, let's see, 58%. So it looks like we probably will get enough. We're not going to get a full load. But you can see I'm almost out of straw or a silage and grass or silage and hay already. So, um, yeah. But I just want to show you that you can actually look in the back and see it working. Uh, all right, I'll be back. And so at, oh, slow time down, whoa. Uh, it's telling us that the silage is empty. We're at about, it hit at about, uh, let's see, 19 would be 7.53. It's about 7.53 at night. So almost, you know, 13 hours, let's see, 10 at night would be 12 hours. So uh, we're short by that, but it, you know, it took almost all day to mix how much percent? 91%. So let's look. We're looking at about eight hours to mix the whole a whole batch if you have those things filled up all filled up all the way, filled up all the way. So now what you do is you just take your tractor and your whoa, excuse me, your little waggy wagon. Oh. And you're just gonna roll over. To your dumper and as long as you have the multi-fruit installed pretty much any trailer will do but this one will work fine and we're going to get our uh our harvest here so what they're pouring into this trailer now is total mixed rations that's what the cows are going to eat so as you can see the mixing station really makes this a lot easier it really does help uh however in some ways i feel a little bit like it's cheating but probably in real life they have these i would imagine uh but it does make life a lot easier than having to bale. It's also a lot less expensive because once the mixing station's on your farm, you don't have to have any baling equipment. 
You don't have to have any tetting equipment. You don't have to have any wind rowers. It's going to save you a ton of money. Now, I don't know if the cows have room for food. I probably already fed them. But in, the, in this game, you're going to pull up here. You're going to fill up their trough. Now, they took some. It probably won't empty out all the way. Oh, maybe. I guess I needed to feed them, huh? <laughs> Poor cows. They were hungry. Wow. That took all of it. I have more I can dump in there, but I'm shocked. Wow, it took the whole thing. I guess it's time to feed the cows, eh? So, uh, if you have extra left over, once again, most farms that have the mixing station have a, a place where you can store it. Sometimes it's, I think it's called Hackles Cut. Eh, I don't know. It, they have some weird names for it in German, but... Um, here we have, they call it forage in this one. But this is actually total, the forage is actually total mixed ration, right? So uh, I pull under there and I get more, but I st I've stored it in those bins. So anyway, I hope that helps you understand the mixing station and its operation. It makes life a lot easier. Like I said, if you happen to pull a farm down from the net that has the mixing station in it, that's how you use it. And it's going to save you a lot of time when it comes to feeding your cows. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I will try to answer them as best as I can. Have a great night, and I will see you on the farm.